Ready? Go. Oh, wrong size. My, my bad. Wrong size. So, alrighty, today is going to be a very special video. All right, uh, in my area, I was able to order this online and get it within two days, and I got it today. So, this is the brand new Milwaukee half inch compact impact wrench. This thing is awesome. They uh, feature this in the, one of their pipeline videos and I got this. We're gonna go over the specs of this really quick and we're also gonna take some lug nuts off and also do a couple of other tests to see on the power that this actually has. All right, so be sure to stop by here on November 12th at 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. We are actually gonna do a live battle of the brushless with this against another brand which other which brand i do not know i'm actually going to decide that within this video so please subscribe to the channel hit the bell button to be notified of future videos and like this video on this channel what we do is i just don't show you guys the new tool i buy it and so i buy it and because i want it for the channel for versus videos in the future and i want to show you guys if this is worth your money so you don't have to buy it this channel buys the tools to see if you have to or if you don't so Let's unbox this really quick and uh, check this out. All right, so this is a tool only purchase. This is $200. All right, so this goes up to 250 foot pounds of uh, nut busting torque, a maximum workspace visibility. And so, yeah, because it's compact, most access in tight areas. For the 18 volt tool, I probably will agree, but obviously their 12 volt tools are a lot smaller than this. So this is a half inch anvil, 250 foot uh, uh, fastening torque, 250 uh, foot pounds, nut busting torque, 250 foot pounds. Drive control, there are four modes with an auto shut off mode and a bolt removing mode. All right, so I guess there are four speeds for the RPM. First speed is zero to 900, second speed zero to uh, 1650, third speed is zero to 2400, and of course the auto, auto feature zero to 2400. I'm assuming that one's auto. All right, impacts per minute on speed one is zero to 1000, speed two, zero, zero to 2400, speed, it's speed three, zero to 3500, and speed uh, four, zero to 3500. All right, so the length is 4.9 inches and the weight is 2.4 inches. I'm assuming that's without a battery. All right, and yeah, so let's unbox this really quick and see what this is actually like. I can't wait. This is going to be awesome. And look at that. Of course, there's instructions and warranty, which... All right, so the tool has a five-year warranty. All right, so this is the tool. This thing is awesome. Look at that. Look at that. That is seriously, seriously awesome. Now, this is model number 2855-20, and we will be using a 3-amp-hour high-output battery for this test. That is speed 3. Let's go to speed 1. Zoom out a little bit. Speed one, speed two, speed three. That is fast. And auto, and that's in forward. Let's go to reverse. Yeah, there's a little wind up and a wind down. So it, the, that's a sensor sensing on what you need. Very good, that is awesome. All right, so the battery is full on here. This is the size difference between the Gen 3 uh, impact driver, the Gen 4 impact wrench. This is the size difference. As you can see, the impact wrench is a lot fatter. That is awesome. This, this, thing, this thing is awesome. I can't wait to test this out. Of course, it is fuel. Try LED beam on the front half inch anvil and yes Alrighty, so as you can see i got my car i got my wife's car jacked up i have a torque bar i uh, on one of these lug nuts this does have a locking a key so we are actually going to test that out on this as well to see if it's able to do it so i got this right here we're actually going to do a couple of tests with this and see what this could actually do 
We're going to uh, try it on speed one, see if we can take it out, and then if not, we'll go to the next speeds uh, after that. All right, so right here is good. All right, so ready? Go. It is not. Speed one is not able to take it out. All right, speed two. Ready? Go. Not able to take it out. Speed three might be required. All right, ready? Go. Immediately. That's one. Immediately. So yeah, speed three is required to be able to take these out. All right, let's actually do the, the key. Right there. All right, ready? Go. Yep, be able to take it out with the key as well. Fantastic. Let's do this one. All right, let's do. Let's try the self, the uh, the auto. Yep. All right now, I'm gonna I'm gonna on the last one. I'm gonna hold the trigger down and see if it stops by itself. All right, ready? Go. Nope, it doesn't stop by itself, but it majorly slows down. Majorly slows down. All right, so let's actually put these back on. There we go. All righty, so the battery is still at full bars. We are going to try out a 10 inch by half inch lag and a 5 eighths inch by 8 inch lag. So let's uh, do the uh, final test on this just for this video, but then plenty of tests are coming in the future. Like I said, I'm doing a live stream on the 12th. So uh, against another brand, I'm thinking, I'm thinking going against Hilti, but we will see. We will see. Let's see what this can do. Okay, we're actually just going to use speed three for this. All right, so ready, uh, ready. Go. to go a little yeah that's time that is time now that that worked let's do a temperature reading on this really quick now that seemed to be working a pretty hard just just for a 10 inch lag 90 degrees it's still cold it's still cold but let's do you know what i'm i i do want to do one with a bigger battery i have to Alrighty, I have an 8 amp hour battery here. Let's see on how this actually is doing the same task with the 8 amp hour battery. Right here is good. Alright, so ready? Go. Tiny bit more time. All right, that does seem to take some time to do, but one thing I can tell you is that the motor is running 100% consistently. Now it is doing the same rhythm over and over and over again. 
the anvil inside is barely skipping, barely skipping its impacts. And it's actually performing really well. And it doesn't go fast, then go slow, or, or slow, then go fast. The motor is actually very well designed so far to where it's continuously just, where it's constantly doing the same rotation without skipping the anvil. So it's, it's, it's crazy in how I actually feel that. All right, so for the final test, let's do a doozy straight down the middle. All right, so the battery is at four bars on this. So let's go straight down the middle and see what this can do. Five eighths inch by eight inch lag. All right, so ready, go. Good, nope, a little bit more. A little bit more, just a smidge, half a turn. There we go, done. Wow, I still gotta take these out. Now that is insane. Let's see, well we got this up to 120, 130, 118, 131. Yep, 131 on top of the anvil housing, 129. All right, let's take these out. Let's see what these could actually do. This thing is awesome. Like this thing looks so, so cool. All right, ready, go. All right, now I'm curious. I want to try. I, I'm not going to time. I'm not going to time these two. Uh, I want to. I am going to time one, but I want to see on how well this does on auto when it comes to taking one of these out. <laughs> Ready? Go. There we go. It would be nice if there was an auto shut off feature. But I guess not. All right, let's do speed three. All right, so ready? We are gonna time this one. Ready, go. Let's see the final temperature reading on this. 136, 143, 143. Not too shabby. This thing is seriously awesome. I suggest you guys go to Home Depot, look this up. The model number is P2855-20. This thing is easily able to take lag bolts off, lug nuts off, off of your car, and also your truck. And so this thing is awesome. The battery life on this is four bars. Now on Thursday, November 12th, we are going to do a battle of the brushless against this, against another impact wrench. Which one? I do not know. Maybe Hilti, but maybe not. Uh, tune in at 6.50, tune in at 6 p.m. Central Mountain Standard Time to find out. 
but I'll put this in the link in the description below. This thing is awesome. I suggest you guys go pick this up. $200 tool only. So I just wanted to do this video of this really quick because I li literally just got this 30 minutes ago and I want to do an immediate video on it and upload it so you guys know what you guys are buying. This thing is awesome. And I suggest you get it. So if you found this video helpful and entertaining, please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. And please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.